locked in the game. Good evening. Tonight, the spotlight falls on North London. We find ourselves at the home of Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Arsenal, and they take on Circle Bruges. Well, thank you, Derek. Well, you look at the hosts being such big favourites in this game. Just wonder how their opponents approach the game. I think the key to this is keep it really tight in the first 20 minutes. Try and frustrate those home fans. And then hopefully you can nick a goal here and there and take your opportunities. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. Danny Ceballos plays with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the starting role in attack is handed to Alex Lacazette. You have to think, Lee, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's natural goal-scoring presence could make a difference here. Well, he's got amazing finishing ability, and when a player's got that, it means you have to go that extra yard tighter. And when you do that, you leave space behind you, so it puts the defender in two minds. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Aubameyang, and now Ceballos. And smart defending. Oh, nice ball over the top. And he's through here. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Holding. Now Bayerin. William. Danny Ceballos. Takes it on. Well, to deny him from point blank range like that, brilliant. Well, really, really strong goalkeeping. Spread himself, used all of his body, really good save. So it's going to be a goal kick here.
Ball's gone. I think, Lee, we all look forward, don't we, to the various stages of the Champions League, from the group stage to the knockout stages. Each has its own dynamic. Well, it does. I certainly get a little bit more excited when the knockout stages start, I must admit. But the, uh, the group stage is an introduction. Lacazette! Well, the shot from that position left a bit to be desired. You've just got to hit the target. Let the power down a little bit and go for accuracy. Unable to keep the ball that time. Well, over the last 15 minutes, Arsenal have dominated possession. They really have put the pressure on. You feel their play deserves a goal, but will they get one? They need to just be a little bit better, a little bit more clinical. William. Now Lacazette. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Lacazette. He had just the goalkeeper to beat. He's got it completely wrongly. Well, he won't be watching that when he gets home tonight on a replay. Lacazette. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Maitland Niles. Looking for Lacazette. Looking confident with the ball in his feet. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Set pieces, they're so important. Listen to that noise, Derek. Listen, it's awesome. Sports to the game. Good evening on what is, I regret to have to report, a pretty unpleasant night. The rain has been lashing down here. 
I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action and what we're getting ready for as the first leg of what should be a very intriguing Conmebol Libertadores semi final. It's Jorge Wilstermann and they face Barcelona. Well, Derek, semi finals can be nervy affairs, we know that, and that's just me and you. And we're tackling like that. The onus is on the referee to take action potentially. So early in this game, and the referee not really hesitating. A yellow card it is, and that could make it difficult for player and official. Well, it changes the complexion of your game, the way you play your match, especially if you're a defender. You start thinking about the challenges instead of executing them. Well, that's one for them to pursue. You never really know, Lee, if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion. Yeah, hero to zero. When he struck that, you think, wow, and then all of a sudden you realise where it's gone. Neymar in behind for him to chase he's in position can he find the net it's been aimed towards the front first not able to put it behind for what will be a corner here And firing it into the area. Can they forge ahead? Still a chance. The defender doing his job. Not much time to make up his mind. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. And you don't want to lose possession there. Oh, just mistimed his run, and the flag going up. Torrico. Alvarez. Justiniano Chavez Lionel Justiniano It did look on for them but not to be Defended well It's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? The referee has deemed that to be a bookable offence. Absolutely. Agree with that one. Diaz, Molina, careless in possession, and that will be the keeper's ball, Molina, Castillo, 
Quintero. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well read to ease the pressure. Wide of the target, and he's going to be disappointed. Disappointed? Wow, it's a shocker. He should be doing a lot, lot better than that. really a shooting moment he's going to be especially proud of Lee well he did have other options but he thought you know what I'm just gonna have a go Sports it's in the game. Just the sort of weather you would order on a trip to Thank Wembley. You. Perfect playing today, conditions Mark. in London He's today. To I'm Derek Ray, pass. joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary Burnley. position. And with the league season about to begin, we have action coming up from the Burnley. curtain raiser, the Community today. Shield. Number it's one. Burnley Nick up against Cole. Crystal Palace. Well, these Number games six. are about getting Burnley. players fit, both Burnley. physically and mentally. Burnley. But there's also Burnley. trophies Burnley. to be won. Burnley. Community Shield, tick that Burnley. box. I've won that a couple of times. I've also lost it a couple of times as well. But it should be a cracker, Derek, that's for sure. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Really getting stuck in. James McCarthy. The ball with Jordan Ayew. Well, whenever you're trying to defend against Wilfred Zaha, you've quite simply got to be on your toes. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So as defenders normally stand off him, and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants, and he normally finds the best one. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. And the danger cleared. Jeffrey Schrupp. Wilfried Zaha. Schrupp. 
Are you? Real chance. Well kept out. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. Keen to take it short here. Electing to cross into the centre. Not messing around with that clearance. Cork. A oh, nice ball over the top. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Nodded straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. Right behind it. The only way you can score there goes either side of the keeper. Well, great read there to intercept. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And a decent delivery. A decisive clearance it was. He's driven in the corner. And did his job defensively. McNeil. Teammates in the middle. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Are you? Ward now. James McCarthy. McCarthy now. He's given it straight to the opposition. Is it going to end up being productive for them? And he's broken free. An attempt like that, never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got his positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. Just the goalkeeper to beat. He's got it completely wrongly. Well, he won't be watching that when he gets home tonight on a replay. The manager's trying to get his message across on the touchline. They've just got to keep pushing. Surely a goal will come. McNeil. Jack Cork now. Top notch tackle, Mamadou Sacco. Wilfred Zaha. Cork. McNeil. It's with Barnes. A really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Are you Wilfred Zaha? Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good looking move, and they are on the move again. Barnes, they could nudge in front. Oh, he's given it penalty, and an opportunity now for them to jump in front. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Well, here's the replay, and it's a bit of a weird one for me. He goes straight, the keeper is there, and yet it still goes in. Madness.
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Are you? Oh, what an opportunity! Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon and we have live action from the Cup to bring you. What a game this ought to be, Lee. Well, I do love my league football, but when I was a player, I looked forward to Cup competitions. Well, that road to the final starts with games like this. It's going to be a cracker. Nerves as well. You don't want to get knocked out at this stage. Moving forward effectively. Well, he's outplayed and outthought him. Foiling them effectively. What can he do from here? A chance to whip it in. Now well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Well, he'll be thanking his lucky stars that the referee settled for a verbal warning rather than a booking. The delivery. Well, nothing comes of it. Leo Baptista. Useful looking ball. Just needs to stay calm. It looked as though he almost forced the shot that time. Well, it's okay shooting from there, but you have to test the keeper. Cariso, Grahore, chance to cross, still looking to get the shot off, oh a tremendous block, and a timely intervention, 
read it magnificently and intercepted. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. He's in with a chance. Surely. He can't hold on to it. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Well, Derek, we've just seen a remarkable save. I thought it was in, you thought it was in, everybody thought it was in. Maciel. Federico Andrada. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Cariso. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can they slot it home? And he misfires. The score sheet remains blank. Well, it looked for all of the world that it should have been the first goal of the game. But his finishing has to be better than that. Kouassi. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? Oh, a vital interception. And well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Can they take advantage of the situation? Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Gnahore. Now oh, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Can he put them in front? Oh, no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he found himself in a great position, but he couldn't find the finish. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. 